we want to add employee details to our database so that we can calculate their present salary incrementing from the joining date. We also need to look for a specific record from the database. Wanna know how easy the task is? Let's look into the video. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulvim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Our discussion today is about how to create an employee database in Excel. We will create a template for 7 employees with their names, positions, base salary per year, joining date, and we will calculate their experience in years and present salary considering 5% increment every year. We will do that using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. We have added a title, Employee Database using B2 to G2. For the primary outline, first we need to add some information. Let's add some titles first. In cell B4, let's type Employee Name or name then position in c4 base salary per year joining date experience in years present salary in terms of five percent increment every year as we can see our titles are not visible let's choose b4 to g4 and from the home tab, from the alignment group, choose wrap text. It's still not visible, right? Let's try increasing row height. Let's try 35. Now it's visible, right? Let's change other formats as well. Let's make them center and middle aligned, increase their fonts, make them bold from the font group and give them a fill color, say this one. It's looking better, right? Now, let's add data for name, position, base salary per year, and joining date. You can add this manually or copy-paste from a source. We will copy-paste the data from a draft record using Ctrl C. Now, paste it in B5 using Ctrl V. There you go. Now, let's add border for the cells so we can easily understand the template. Select B4 to G11. And from the Home tab and Font Group, from the Border drop-down, let's select All Borders. Let's add Experience in column F. First, try a formula in cell F5 using Today function. This will get us the date value of present date minus joining date, which is E5. Enter. Now we can see that the experience which is supposed to be in years unit, it's showing in date format. Let's change the format from the home tab under number group. From this drop down, select number. Now this value represents the time span in days format. Now we can just divide the answer by 365 since there are 360 days in each year, generally, divided by 365. Now, we are seeing that there is a fractional value in our experience, but we want to calculate present salary based on integer numbers of year. So, let's convert it into an integer number. Let's modify the formula a little bit further, adding int function, opening parenthesis, and a closing parenthesis. Done. There you go. Now we can just use fill handle tool to drag till cell F11 or we can just double click on the bottom right corner. Easy, right? For the present salary, we need to add 5% of the base salary with the previous salary. Now we need to understand 5% is equivalent to 0 0.05. So factor for present salary will be 1 plus 0 
which is 1.05. Every year the factor will remain the same. So the factor has to be repeatedly multiplied according to the experience years. Based on that, let's try a formula in cell G5. Let's click on D5, which is our base salary, multiplied by the factor, which is 1.05. Now, since it will be multiplied repeatedly according to the experience years, so the factor will be powered by experience, which is F5 for Jacob. Enter. Now, we can see that present salary is this value. So, we can just use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner. See, each of the employees and their present salary, including their increment. If your present salary values are not in this format, you can just click on them and go to number group from home tab and from the drop down, you can choose accounting or currency. We've chose accounting. You can also add this icon to go along with accounting number format. Now we want to select the records using the drop down menu. First, select B4 to G5, copy it using Ctrl C and in B13, paste it using Ctrl V. Now change the row height of the 13th row to 35. Now we will add the new data in this cells. So let's just delete previous cell values using the delete key from our keyboard. Now we want to select the records based on the names. So let's go along with data validation feature. Select cell B14, go to data tab, from the data tools group, select data validation. Here, from the allow drop down menu, you can choose any of them. So you can understand that data validation has multi-purpose features in Excel. For now, we have a list of employees. So let's go along with list. And the source is B5 to be 11 okay now we can see a drop down icon here here you can see all the names here let's select paulo now we want these values as well for that we will use a formula using vlookup and match function let's try the formula first now vlookup will look for b14 Let's make it absolute using the function for or F4 key so that it doesn't change even if we use fill handle or copy the cell to somewhere else, comma. Now our table array is B4 to G11. Make that absolute as well. For column index number, we need to match what is the title. So let's go along with match function now. So lookup value will be position which is in c13 and our lookup array is b4 to g4 make that constant or absolute zero is for exact match closing parenthesis now we will get the column index number from match function now the range lookup will be false or exact match we can also use zero instead of false they represent the same thing enter so you can see that Paolo is project manager. We have easily got that as an output. For rest of the cells, we can just use the fill handle to drag the formula till G14. There you go. According to our source database, the outputs are just the similar. But we can see that the formats are not the same. So we can just format the cells individually going to home tab, and from the number group, let's select accounting. Or you can do something else. For these three cells, we can choose any of the records, say this one. Use Ctrl C. Now click on E14 and from the home tab in clipboard group, select paste drop down. And here, choose keep source formatting. See, we only had to copy the format. Now we can just change the name. Let's say kids and we can see position and other values are changed instantly. From these elaborate steps, we can easily create an employee database. You can practice this problem with the help 
of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.